Hello, I'm Terry Kelly, Director of Representation and Member Services at the Law Society of Ireland. This is one of a series of videos that provides information for solicitors about developing and growing their businesses. If you have questions or need additional support from the Law Society's Small Practice Support Team, please contact us using the details at the end of the video. Welcome to How to Market a Small Legal Practice, a Law Society small practice support video that is one of several recordings that provides information to solicitors on managing, developing and increasing profitability of a small practice, be it a sole practitioner firm or a partnership. I'm Keith O'Malley of Law Society Small Practice Support Service. Marketing is a huge area and there are a great many options open to someone who wants to start marketing a business. In this video, we're going to focus on one simple strategy that is generally acknowledged by marketing experts to be one of the most effective ways uh, possible to market a professional service firm. We're going to look at this strategy by going through four stages involved. The first stage is reviewing opportunities. Then there is choosing a specialism and skilling up within that particular specialism. The third stage is promoting yourself within that specialization. And finally, there is strengthening your position over time. So let's move into the first stage, reviewing opportunities. If you want to market your legal firm, the best place to start is to review the environment that you exist in and to try and figure out how you can provide best value to customers and prospective customers. In a professional firm, best value is almost always provided by providing particularly expert support in complicated matters. Think about it with regard to how you might choose an accountant to advise you if you had a big problem with revenue over VAT involving a large sum of money. Would you find yourself any old accountant or would you look for a VAT expert? Would you be looking for the lowest fee on offer? In reviewing opportunities, you need to do several things. You need to establish expert work that people need done. You need to consider what suits you, what you can do and what you like doing. You should particularly watch out for niche opportunities, types of work that you believe you can monopolize, that you can become the go-to guy uh, within. Now, let's move on to choosing a specialization and skilling up within that specialization. You need to select an area of work that you will enjoy doing and that you can provide a higher level of service within by becoming even more expert and involved within. You may choose to do this work alongside what you've been doing to date, or you may decide to do it 100% from that point on. You need to become absolutely expert within this area, absolutely expert, and remain continually uh, involved and, and up to date and learning on an ongoing basis. This is best done by taking on work in the area. If you're fortunate, you might achieve some kind of a breakthrough by winning an important court case or developing a technological solution to a problem, etc. What moves us into, which moves us of course into the third stage, promoting your expertise within this selected area of work. You need to publicize that you have expertise in whatever niche you have selected. There are a number of ways to do this. Writing a white paper or an article and getting this published is typical. Whatever you do initially, follow up by updating media and offering yourself uh, and get what you want to communicate out to the general public and seek to get discussion going on radio and on local media. Seek to establish an ongoing presence wherever you can on media. Finally, there is the ongoing business of strengthening the market advantage that you have established for yourself. You do this by developing more and more expertise and building up a reputation for being the person who can come up with solutions to difficult and complex 
problems. Many firms strengthen their position by promoting themselves to a bigger and bigger marketplace, for example, maybe nationally uh, and then even internationally. You can also strengthen your position by building alliances, both with other solicitors and with other professionals uh, outside of, uh, of law. Involvement in special interest groups and campaigning organizations can facilitate you in forming these kind of alliances and staying at the center of things. Which brings us to the end of this video. However, there is a, another video in the same space called Benefits of Marketing a Small Practice that might be of interest to you. And there are lots of others with information on managing, developing, and increasing profitability in a small legal practice. We hope that they are of assistance to you. Bye.